Hello, everybody. God bless you and welcome to APTV. I am Apostle Abigail Price, and I'm so happy that you are here on the Fueling Station, our ministry on today. And uh, if you're here for the first time, well, welcome to the broadcast. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. Uh, and it needs to say personal so that you can get personal notifications every time we upload a video. And I want to say thank you to all of you that are part of this community over here. You are truly a blessing. Thank you for uh, being a part of what we are doing. Thank you for, uh, uh, you know, being family. It is so in very important that we fellowship. And I do thank God for each and every one of you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Today, we're going to uh, be praying for the hour of prayer. And the hour today is the prayer of poverty. We're going to be praying against the spirit of poverty. And so uh, before we get started, I want you to do us a really big favor, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. This helps us out, helps us to get the broadcast out uh, to others. If you are believing God and uh, appreciate what we're doing here, go ahead and do us a big favor by uh, getting our broadcast out, letting other people know they may need to hear prayers that are against uh, different things that is going on in the world today. And this is our way of being a blessing, showing into someone else's life a prayer or the word of God. Also, we are asking you to uh, leave your comments in the comment section if you are in agreement with what we're saying here do us a big favor and let us know. That's the only way we are knowing that you are here, that you are partaking of what God is doing here. And we are used to seeing different people uh, that is a part of this ministry. We get used to praying for you. We see you. We know that you're there. God may bring you up prophetically, but we won't know that if you are not interacting in the comment section below. For those of you that do that, well, thank you so much, very much. We ask you to do it as unto the Lord, because we will be rewarded accordingly. Also, we're asking you uh, to sow back into this ministry. That is the only way this ministry can stay afloat. We do have a television ministry. We do have uh, bills and needs to, uh, to be able to be productive. So those of you that are uh, partnering with this ministry, we thank you that we are able to continue to do the work that we're doing for the kingdom of God because of you and your prayers and those of you that are partnering with with us to carry the gospel. I want to take the time to say thank you because we do appreciate the things that you do for this ministry. And I know that God sees and he knows, and I pray that God will reward you uh, a 100 fold return in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. So on today, I think that's everything. Um, we are going to be on another video after this. Uh, please uh, check us out after this. If you see this broadcast, uh, there should be another video that will be after this. I'll try to put it in the comment section below. Uh, I also want to mention that we're going to be just uh, talking about are praying about today, poverty. And uh, we're going to talk about it a little bit, but later on, if you are not a member of the uh, channel APTV, uh, then we are, you're not going to be able to see, but we're going to go in depth about poverty, breaking generational curses, uh, making uh, words of confession uh, over ourselves and only those that are uh, members of the channel, APTV, only those that are members of the channel will see that exclusive teaching and prayer. And so that means that if you want to see exclusive videos, you're going to have to join the channel. This helps us out. It gives you uh, exclusive videos, but this helps us out uh, by you being a partner with our ministry. By joining the channel, you will get exclusive content that others will not get. OK, and you could do that by simply going to APTV and hitting the join channel. 
Ask the Holy Spirit what level he would have you to contribute to this ministry and join on that level. And it will be a monthly subscription. You could cancel at any time, but this is partnering with the ministry. It's automatically debited out of your account. And this is another way of being able to support this ministry. So remember, again, today we're going to go on a shallow level of uh uh, praying over the spirit of poverty, but later on, we will be going more in depth and have prayers of confirmations or uh, confessions, and that we're going to come against those things in our membership uh, uh, segment. Okay. So please run over there and join the ministry. This helps us out. Okay. With that being said, I'll put the link in the description box below, but it usually is just on our YouTube channel and it just say click to join and you just follow the prompts and you will be automatically become a member. And it will show you as you make comments in the comment section below, who is actually a member. You'll have a little uh, logo on a side of your name. Okay. And so with that being said, I want to put up the banner. Amen. Because when we are praying, I want you to be focused on uh, being in agreement with what we are saying. So we're going to focus on Jesus and we are not going to be looking at me on the screen. Please get your prayer shawls. Please get your blessed all and let's join together in faith. Okay. So I'm going to put the banner up there and we're going to go into prayer. Let's touch and agree. Let us know that you're in agreement. Amen. Glory to God. Ketana na masi yanda la 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 basata ando basi yanda bahaya do do basi la bahande de do se keta la basaya Lord we come before you Lord Jesus Hallelujah Lord thank you for another day to be in the land of the living Oh God thank you Lord God for you being so good to us that we can't even bear the goodness that you are so good to us we just say God it is hard to really conceive the greatness and the good this and it's overwhelming at times. And we say, thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for the power of your goodness. Thank you for the power of your presence. Thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us on today. Lord, I just thank you for all of us that are able to come to hear this broadcast, Lord. Lord, we just say thank you, God, that we are able to touch and agree. We thank you, God, that there is no distance in prayer. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you for those that are watching from far and wide, Lord God, wherever they are, we say thank you for the brethren. Thank you for fellowshipping. Thank you, Lord God, that we are seated with you in heavenly places. Lord, we just lift up your name on today. Yes, Lord, we lift up the name of Jesus on today. Lord Jesus, we just reverence you. We love you and we just magnify you. Holy Spirit of God, we just invite you in this place. We touch and agree, Lord God. We stand on your word, oh God, that you are are here, O oh Lord God. We thank you that you are here. We thank you, God, that we are able, God, to come before you, Lord God, boldly because of the name, the name of Jesus. Lord, you said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. And I say thank you for that. Uh, oh God, we just say thank you for the cross. We thank you for the name of Jesus. And so we just lift up your name on today. Lord, we will not forget, oh God. We will not exclude your name. We would not say that there is another way, oh God. We would not allow the, the spirit of inclusivity to be in us, oh God. We say you are the way. You, We say you are the truth and you are the light, oh God. We say that no man cometh to the Father but through you on today and forevermore. And so we say that today. We declare the truth of your word. We say you are great and you are high and lifted up. You are our king and we 
we worship you. Yes, Lord, I know the enemy don't want us to say these things. The enemy doesn't want us to say that it take all of that, oh God. But Lord Jesus, we say to you, Lord, it take all of that and then some, because you are the one that died for us, Lord. You are the one that is sit, sitting high and it is looking low. You're the one that is sitting in authority. You're the one that went through uh, to the cross and got up out of that grave by the power of the spirit of God. Lord God, you raised Jesus from that grave and that spirit is on the inside of us. And so father, we pray that your Holy ghost would be here today. We ask that the Holy spirit would move through this at the airways. Oh God, Lord, we say God that this is of no point if you are not here in the midst of us, but God, we know that you are here. We are knowing that you are here because we operate in faith. Oh God, we know that your word is what it is and it is what is you say you are who you say you are and we just say thank you lord blessings to the name of abba father blessings to your throne dear father god hallelujah glory to you lord glory to your name holy spirit of god thank you for you being god lord we praise your name we praise your name oh god Lord, we praise your name. Lord, it doesn't matter what we feel. We over. We thank you, God, that we don't operate by our feelings, oh God. We thank you, God, that we don't operate by our feelings, oh God. We thank you, God, that we are not moved by our feelings, oh God. We thank you, God, that we have the sword of the spirit. We thank you, God, that we are putting on the whole armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we have the shield of faith, oh God, and we uh, gird our loins with truth, oh God, and we shot our feet with the preparation of the gospel. Father God, we put on the whole armor today. We put on the whole armor today consciously. God, we say no to our flesh, oh God. Hallelujah. We say no to the things of this world, oh God. We say no to the academic nature. We say oh, no to the wrong mindset, oh God, on today, oh Lord. Hallelujah, Father God. Lord, we have faith enough to believe that you are going to come, you are going to, as we stand in our authority, as we walk in our authority, Lord God, we are, have faith to believe that it is so that because we have authority, that we could stand up against the power of the enemy. We could stand and, and decree a thing. We could stand and receive the things that you have already declared is ours. And so we are coming, Father God, in these days, coming against those things that we know that the enemy is coming against in, our, in, in this day and in this hour. God, we are coming because you have put it in our hearts to do it, Lord. You say it, that the mind that is in Christ is also in us. And so when we are calling on, you have put something in our heart to do, Lord God, we are going to do it with all of our heart, mind and might, oh God. And so we pray, God, that this, you would just move in the midst of our prayers, oh God. We have faith that God, that there is something that is shifting in the realm of the spirit. We have faith that God, things are not going to be the same. Father God, we thank you for that in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that every principality and that every power of the enemy has to move because of us praying in faith and in the power of the name of Jesus. We're exercising our, our faith on today. We're exercising our spiritual being on today. Everything that we have, God, we're not sitting down on the power. We're not sitting down on the authority that you have given to us, but no, God, we are here to operate in faith, oh God. And we say, thank you, Lord. We say, thank you, God, that there is due to us power on the inside of us. We stir up our faith on today. God, I thank you for those that is here. God, that they may be in a, a area, a, a hour that they are struggling in their faith, oh God. But I thank you, God, that we are here to sharpen one another. I thank you, God, that if they are down, I thank you, God, that, that you are reviving them on today, that you are encouraging each and every one of them on today and us, God, 
you are encouraging us in our walk, oh God. Holy Spirit of God, I'm asking you to stir us up. Holy Spirit of God, I ask that you would set us ablaze on today. Yes, Lord. Lord, stir us up in our faith, oh God. Stir us up in our uh, and cause us to walk in strength on today. Let us walk in your power on today. Let us walk in the fullness of your authority on today, Father God. Let it be you and not us, oh God. Oh God, bring back to a remembrance the word of God that pertains to our situations, oh God, as we are in your word, as your word is put in on the inside of us to support the faith that we, you are giving us to encourage the faith that you have given to us, to grow the faith that you have given to us as we do, as we reflect on your word, as we are walking in our situations day by day. Lord, I pray that the, your spirit would uh, quicken the word concerning our circumstances. Every one of us have different circumstances, but we are in an hour where our faith is being tested. It's under observation, oh God. The world is working the magic that they have and we have you. And Father God, you say they that trust in the Lord shall not be put to shame, oh God. And so I thank you, God, that our hope and our trust is in you. Lord, our complete dependency is upon you, oh God. And God, I just thank you that our, our hope in you will not be in vain. I thank you, God. God, that we are depending you on you for our finances. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. That our dependency is upon you for our strength, our strength, our strength for this hour. Lord God, you are our, our strength and you are our pavilion. You are our divine protection. And God, you are shielding us from every adversary, every uh, ray, every uh, weapon that the enemy is devising up against us. Oh God, Lord, I thank you. Lord God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. We thank you. It's together we pray. It's together we thank you, Lord. We are thanking you right now in this time of intercession. Lord, we are thanking you right now, God, that you are our protection against all of the demonic uh, schemes of the enemy. God, whatever the schemes are, God, we thank you, God, that you are protecting us against the schemes. We thank you, God, that the schemes will not prosper. We thank you, God, that whatever it is, oh God, we pull it down. We pull down those things. We come against it with the power of prayer. We come against it with the authority of God, the authority that has been given up to us. God, we take authority over every conjured up thing that has been conjured up in the air. Everything that has been manufactured, everything that has been loosed in the water, everything that have been loosed in the airways, oh God, we come against it and we declare that the Lord is our pavilion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We declare that you are our badge of authority. You are our shield. You have sealed us in with a mark, oh God. We stand on the fact that we are covered by God. We stand on the fact that we are covered by the blood of Jesus. We declare that great is our God. We declare to the disease that great is our God. We declare to the disease X that great is the name of Jesus. Great is our the blood that covers us. The blood that covers our children as they come and go. The blood that covers our, our families. So God, as we come and go, that bacteria, we command you to stand down in Jesus' name. Bacteria, we remind you of who our God is. Bacteria, all of the diseases, all of the diseases, all of the diseases, everything that has been released in the airways, everything, God, we, we speak life against it, oh God. We speak life against death. We speak life against death in the name of Jesus. Ha 
Yanda basheke tana na masi yanda rabasata. Oh God, we cover ourselves, oh God. We cover our communities, oh God. We cover the churches, oh God. We cover the pastors, oh God. We cover each person that is believing you and having faith and walking in an authority, the authority of the believers, oh God. We decree that faith will not fail us in this hour. We decree that Jesus is the word and we stand on the word of God. We we rebuke the spirit of sickness. We rebuke the spirit of infirmities. We rebuke the spirit of fear that is being launched out right now. Lord God, we thank you for wisdom. We thank you, God, that your word works, oh God. And we ask that and we apply the word. We apply the wisdom, oh God. But what we will not do is we will not succumb to fear in the name of Jesus. We say no to fear right now. Come on. I need you to say no to fear. Fear, we co- we cast you out. We take authority over the spirit of fear. We loose the spirit of faith, oh God. We loose the spirit of love over fear. We loose the word of God over fear in the name of Jesus, over God's people. We dismantle the spirit of fear by the power of the blood of Jesus. We loose the spirit of fear. We, we uh, bind the spirit of fear and loose the spirit of of God, the spirit of the living God, the spirit of the living God to revive and to remind your people of who you are, O God. Loose your hold off of God's people. You spirit of fear, we cancel you out in Jesus' name. The spirit of death, we cancel you out in Jesus' name. The spirit of death, we cancel you out in Jesus' name. We come against the spirit of death. We come against the spirit of death. We, we come against the spirit of bloodshed. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord God, we hear and know about the spirit of bloodshed. You say uh, 16 that the Lord hate and the seventh is abomination. And God, we take authority over the spirit of death. We take authority over the stoves that are shedding innocent blood in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, we, we come against it. We stand against it, oh God, and we loose the blood of Jesus, Lord God, right now. We loose the blood of Jesus in those places in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against every work of the enemy. The blood of Jesus is in the, uh, against the works of those, the workers of those that are doing evil. Lord, we bind the hand of the enemy, God, that is running rampant in our land right now. We bind the hand and the work of the enemy. God, those that are agents of darkness, we take authority. We send an ambush against you in Jesus' name. We come against every work of the enemy. We pull down the strength of you. We pull apart the, the the oneness of you. Uh, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, let them not have the strength of one another. Let them not come together, but this confusion. Break up the network of demons. Break up the network of the enemy. Break up the network of the agents of darkness. Father, loose your fire in the name of Jesus against them right now. Lord God, we stand before for you asking you to have mercy, oh God. Lord Jesus, we stand before you asking you to have mercy upon the shedding of the innocent blood in the nation. God, we ask you for forgiveness, oh God. We ask you to forgive God, our nation, Father. We ask you, Lord God, we take upon ourselves and ask you to forgive, oh God, what our nation is doing. Those that are shedding innocent blood, Lord God, we bring it up before you. Lord God, we ask you to have mercy, O Lord. Lord Jesus, look down, O God. Look down. Move, O God. Move and act upon these things, O God. Lord God, we know that you have, you, you consider these things. Lord God, we know that you're watching and we know that you're not pleased with the things that is transpiring in our world today. 
today. And God, we stand with you, oh God. We stand with what the word of God says, oh God. Lord, we put the responsibility on you, God, that you would judge, that you would move upon the situation. Yes, God, we know that you can move swiftly, but God, we ask that you would have mercy, oh God, upon this nation. God, we remind you that there is a people that love you that are here in this nation. We ask you, God, to remove the blinders off the eyes of those that are blinded by the enemy, oh God. We ask that God, that the hand of the devil will be loosed off of the people. God, that they, that is had the people in grip. So God, those that are being used by the devil, God, we pray God that they are loose by the uh, from the enemy. God, loose from the control and the manipulation and every lying wonder that is going forth in in and everything that they believe that is a lie. God, we stand before you asking you, Lord God, to. Do Deliver them from the hands of the enemy. Oh God, what the devil is doing for harm in this community, so God, in this nation. Lord, I pray that as we believe you, we ask that you, Lord God, would turn it around, oh God. We ask that as we pray, God, that you would step up on the scene, oh God, that you would show yourself mighty and strong in the midst of our nation, oh Lord, that you would honor the prayers of your people and Father God, that you would move upon the cries of your people, oh Lord Jesus, that can, that do not agree with the evil and the sin that is going on in this nation, Father God. Lord God, we just ask you for forgiveness for the sin of this nation. Lord, we ask that you will forgive the sin of America before your throne. Those that are in uh, governmental seats and positions of authority. Father God, we just bring them up before your throne right now, Father. Lord God, we ask that God, that there will be righteousness that will come forth. Lord God, in these places. Father God, that you will convict the evil that is going forth in the land. I pray that you would raise up a people. Raise up those that will tell them the truth of what is going on. Raise up a people, God, that can be honest to confront the evil that is going on. I pray that there are Daniels in administrations, Lord God, that can advise righteously for what is wickedly happening in the nation. I pray that you will position the Daniels, God, that you will position the people like the Esthers and the people of authority, even bring people like Paul, Lord God, even if he's in chains that he could minister to those that are in positions of authority like King Agrippa and those that were in position those that are like the 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 John the Baptist that can say that is wrong what you're doing oh God even if it cost him his life oh God I pray that you would raise up people Father God that we will realize that death has no sting oh God Lord Jesus let us understand that you have already overcome death hell and the grave, oh God. Let that word set right up in us. Let us not believe the lie of fear to fear our lives, oh God, so that we will not speak boldly in this hour, oh God. And Lord, there are people, Lord, in the everyday life, oh God, that is challenging our faith, oh God. Lord Jesus, they know the right way, but they need us to say that it's not right, oh God. They need us to stand for what is right in this hour. Lord, I ask that your spirit would stand up on the inside of us. I pray that the light that is in us, that it would shine, oh God, that it would not be quiet, that the light would not be darkness, but that it would shine brightly on the inside of us, oh God. I'm asking you to give us a light, oh God. I ask that you will place us in positions that our light has to make a difference, oh God. Lord, we are coming together to pray, oh God, to make a difference, oh Lord. We are praying for your strength. 
We are praying for us to be able to, to be strong in situations that we are placed in, oh God, on an everyday basis. Lord, our prayers is not pretty. Our prayers is not cute, oh God. Our prayers is not just for nothing. We're not here, oh God, wishing upon a star, but we are here, oh God hallelujah jesus to do a work in the realm of the spirit we are here lord god to get our marching orders we are here to move things around in the realm of the spirit we are here to push back and to say no to the forces of darkness no you can't have this nation no you cannot have our children no you cannot have our mind no we will not surrender to the spirit of poverty no we will not comply with the spirit of death and the spirit of shedding of innocent blood, but we will pray against it. We will stand against it and know the devil will not be able to do things without resistance. Lord God, we stand with you and you're the one that has to move upon these situations. We pray to you because you have given us the power. You are the one that we are praying to that you will move, oh God, upon these situations. We speak to the mountain of death. We speak to the mountain of confusion. We speak to the mountains of uh, confusion and distractions. We speak to the mountains of division and we command the division, the distraction and the confusion and the spirit of death and the spirit of fear to go in Jesus name. We command the spirits to go. We command the spirits to go in the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree and declare that the lives of your people, the eyes of your people are open. Lord, we are calling forth those that are blind to receive their sight spiritually. Those that are not hearing, God, that their ears will pluck open, oh God, that their ears will pop open in the name of Jesus. We are speaking life over those that are dying spiritually on today. Lord, even those that are in leadership, oh God, that are overwhelmed with doing the work of the ministry, God, we speak life life over that ministry. We we speak, Lord God, that they, they are renewed in their walk with God. They're renewed with their, uh, uh, have a fresh vigor and a stamina. God, that there is tenacity, there is strength, there is a stamina that is spiritual that is coming forth on today. We declare spiritual strength today. We declare and receive the spiritual the strength that we need for this hour on today. Lord God, God, we thank you, Lord, that as we are waiting upon you, Lord God, we are mounting up with wings of eagles. We thank you, God, that as we touch and agree, oh God, that mountains are shaking and the enemy is trembling in his boots on today. Lord, we thank you, God, that we have power, Lord, to tread over serpents and the prayer of agreement is not just with one another, but you are our intercessor, oh God. You are our intercessor, Lord Jesus. And we are interceding and touching and agreeing with you on today. And so we bless your name. We bless your name, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, right now. We thank you, Lord God, because you said to pray with prayers of thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you, God, that the mountains are shaken. And God, that the that the mountains are being removed, oh God, and going into the sea. Lord God, we thank you that the enemy me does not have dominion over us. That sickness will not have dominion over us. That death will not have dominion over us. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over the airways. We plead the blood of Jesus over the air that we breathe. We plead the blood of Jesus over every food that comes in our house. We plead the blood of Jesus over every surface that we touch. We plead the blood of Jesus over everything that is manufactured. Lord, we come against it. We come against the things that is being orchestrated by man, the enemy, oh God, that the devil is using. We come against germs. We come against the spirit of monkeypox. We come against the spirit of disease X in the name of Jesus. And we declare that the blood of Jesus is against you. We cast out your ability to affect us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we decree that the monkey pox and all of the disease acts and everything that is on
on surfaces that is being released in the name of Jesus. We command you to die when you touch us in the name of Jesus because of the blood. We loose the blood. We appropriate the blood. We apply the blood of Jesus on the top of our heads and we apply the blood of Jesus on the soles of our feet in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you will hide us under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, I ask that you will not allow us to be even seen by the enemy, oh God. God, hide us off of the enemy's radar. Oh God, confuse the enemy when it pertains to this ministry. Confuse the enemy what pertaining to this ministry, God. Per confuse the enemy uh, pertaining to this ministry and those that are connected to this altar in the name of Jesus. Let the enemy con be confused and confounded. Let every plan that the enemy tried to do, let it over uh, overflow into a blessing because of you and your great hand, oh God. Let them know that, that we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you would allow hallelujah them to know that it is you that is protecting us let them know that it is you that is the god that is over this ministry that is the god over this family and that we are covered that the blood works oh god satan i command you to submit to the blood of jesus i command you to yield to the blood of jesus every power that you're operating uh, uh, with and uh and you're using we command it to be dismantled because of the blood, because of the name of Jesus. Every power of those that work iniquity against the children of God, I command it to be destroyed. We command every every witch, every plan, every root to die, every assignment, every spoken word to die. The words that have been spoken, we command you to die. The plans that have been plot plotted. We command it to be dismantled in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we come against the words. We come against the word curses. We come against by the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come against you. We drive you out right now. We drive out those that are doing wickedness in this nation. We drive out those that are doing wickedness individually against us in, in Jesus. Jesus name. Those that are positioned, Lord God, in the rim of the spirit, those that have been assigned, whether it's a spirit or whether it's a worker of iniquity, whether it's someone that is doing black magic, whether it's someone that is just being hateful and being used by the enemy, the blood of Jesus is against you and we cast you out. We cast out the demonic force. We cast out your assignment. We decree that your plans will not work in the name of Jesus. We decree that your plans will not work in the name of Jesus. We decree that the spirit of poverty will not come up against us. It will not take over our lives. And we thank God that we have a word and it is the word that we are standing on that we can our souls can prosper and we can prosper. We can be in health, oh God, as our souls prosper. And so we declare the words of God. We exercise our faith. We come against the spirit of separation and division. We come against every, every spirit that is coming against those that are destiny helpers in the name of Jesus. We come, we cast out every spirit and take authority over every spirit that is operating in our relationships oh god god that is assigned in our relationships to hinder us everything that is a spirit of opposition everything that is a spirit of opposition in our relationships in our families everything that is opposing us from moving forward everything that is trying to stop and block the plan of god in the name of jesus we loose the blood 
blood of Jesus. We command you to go right now. We dismantle you. We destroy the yoke of you in the name of Jesus. We command the yoke to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Those of you that are working iniquity, we command all of those plans that you have plotted against God's people, the downfall of God's people, Lord God, the division of God's people, the uh, the, the disease and the mind-binding spirits and everything that you are using, everything that you are trying to stop God's people, we command those uh, uh, plans to be thwarted and we overturn and override those plans by the power of prayer through obedience and through the power of the Spirit of God. We call on the resurrection power of Jesus. We call upon the resurrection power of Jesus. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord God, that our minds are being loosed from the hands of the enemy. We thank you that our feet are being loosed from the snares of the enemy. We thank you, God, that our children are being loosed from the lies and the deception of the enemy, oh God. We thank you, God, that our careers are going to another level, oh God, because the adversary, those that have set up a plan, those that have set up a plot, oh God, you're overriding it today. Day. The, the word of God has already given us the power to tread. And so by faith on today, we tread against the enemy. By faith on today, we receive the advancement on today. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we decree that we are advancing. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we receive the advancement. We decree God with the words of our mouth, oh God. We decree, Lord God, that good and an expected in. We decree that our relationships are growing and going to another level, oh God. We decree, oh God, that our, we are advancing in our health. We are advancing, Lord God, in our understanding of the word of God. We are advancing spiritually, oh God, that we are developing spiritual gifts, oh God, and that we are becoming stronger in you, oh God, stronger in faith, stronger in prayer. We decree God that everything good, everything opposite of what the devil is praying or what the enemy is praying against us. We decree the opposite of it. We decree the blessings will come forth. Everything that have stopped the blessing, everything that have stopped the blessing, we decree that abundance is coming forth, oh God. Abundance of favor, abundance of favor, abundance of wealth, abundance of knowledge, abundance of revelation, abundance of walking in love, abundance of walking in forgiveness, abundance of being able to pray God without ceasing, oh Lord. Lord, I thank you for the opposite. I thank you for the opposite. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that there is an opposite, a blessing instead of a curse, oh God. A blessing instead of a curse in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, we just say thank you. Come on, I need you to be in agreement. Come on, I need you to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, because we believe you, oh God. We believe that our prayers are effective. We believe that the atmosphere is bowing down to the name of Jesus, that there is a shift in the realm of the spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, have your way right now. Have your way in the midst of your people. Have your way in their lives on today. Have your way on today in the situation, whatever it is that they're going through. Move mightily, Lord. Move mightily, Lord Jesus. Let the abundance of your presence be in this place, oh Lord. Let the atmosphere be shifted for them today. Let wherever they are, God, the joy 
God, the rain, the glory, the presence, the coolness of your presence, the fragrance of your presence. Let it come forth on today. Lord, let them know that you are God. Give them another measure of faith on today. Give them another level of, of grace on today. Let mercy be multiplied unto your people on today. Lord, we speak blessings. Come on. I need you to speak and release blessings over yourself. And I want you to release blessings over your children. I want you to release blessings over your friends and over your finances. Oh God, I speak blessings over my relationships. Oh God, I decree today that my relationships will prosper. I decree that my relationships are functional instead of dysfunctional in the name of Jesus. We break the back of the devil in faith on today. We break the back of the devil in faith on today. We break the back of the devil in faith on today. God has already done what he's going to do. He's given us the authority. We are the sons of God. We are the children of God and we are able to do whatever God has given us the authority to do. We are able to exercise that authority authority. So we speak life over our situations. We speak life over our situations. We speak life over our situation. We could break the word curses all day long. We could bind what the devil is doing, but we have to decree the thing that we want to see in our lives. And so we decree, God, that we are successful. We decree, oh God, that we are healed by your strife. We decree, Lord God, that I have a sound mind in the name of Jesus, that I don't have the spirit of fear, but a power. Yes, that's right. I walk in power. Power is not loud. Power is not um uh, showy, but power is strength under control. So I thank God, that I have strength. I have strength to endure. I have strength to turn the other cheek. I have strength, oh God, to hold my peace and let God fight my battle. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that I have the power of the Spirit of God and I'm exercising my power by prayer because your word says our weapons of warfare, they are not carnal. We thank you, Lord, that we are not operating with carnal um, uh, weapons. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you, God, that we are not operating with carnal weapons, oh, God, but we are, we are defeating the enemy with the weapons that are not carnal, but they are mighty according to your word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for the mightiness of your gifts. Thank you for the might and the power of your gifts, the weapons that you have given us that are spiritual. Lord God, we come against spirit with spirit. We come against the spirit of the enemy with the spirit of God. And the Lord has already overcome the enemy. Lord Jesus, you are lifted up above the earth. You are lifted up above every principality, against Against every power of the enemy. And so we remind those that are fighting against God's children. We remind the sickness that is coming up against your body. We remind all of the negative things that have been conjured up and loosed in the land that you cannot come against the things of God, that you cannot come against the word of God, that God have a good and an expected end, that God says that a thousand shall fall at our side, but ten thousand at our right hand, but that no harm shall come now our dwelling. You can't come against it. It's illegal for you to come against the word of God. And so we rebuke everything that the enemy has launched. Lord God, we are whatever you allow, but we rebuke what the devil has launched against us. Hallelujah, Jesus. We declare that we are, we are, are healed. We declare that we are successful. We declare that we are walking uh, in the mature 
maturity of uh, and maturing in your word that we are developing, that we are growing. We thank you, Lord, that we are not on the level that we were on yesterday because we know, God, that we are going to another level in you. We know, oh God, that we are going to another level in you, oh God. Hi, la 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 mansia, la la masata. Oh God, we thank you right now. Handa basi ke talabasi. Handa da ro sata talabasata. Handa da ro sata kata tada na masata. Leke tata na 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 masi handa da da basata. I just need you to be in agreement in the name of Jesus. Pray in your heavenly language. We come against every altar that is against this this ministry. Every altar that is against the house of God. Every altar that is against the people of God. We pull down demonic altars we come against it we come against the demonic altars we come against the agents that are operating illegally against the people of god we drive you out by the power of god and the name of jesus and god we call on the god that answers by fire we call on the god of elijah we call on the god of abraham isaac and jacob oh god lord jesus oh we we pray that you will move in the midst of us. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to your name. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Handa da 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 basata. Handa da 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 basata. Handa da 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 basata. Lord, raise up an altar, Lord God, that we will that the enemy can see. Lord God, you prospering us. You said that you will create a table before us in the presence of our enemies, oh God. So raise it up that they will know that there is a God. Let them be ashamed of the error of their ways. Let them be ashamed of the evil that they have plotted against your people. In the name of Jesus, let it not work, oh God. Let it not work. Let us not fall. Let the enemy not see us fall, but raise us up in their sight, oh God. Let us triumphant over the enemy, as David said. I run through a troop and I leap over a wall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus God. We trust your word. We trust your word and we stand upon your word in the name of Jesus. Father, on today, we just take the opportunity to pray against the financial issues, the spirit of poverty, Lord God, low salaries, money that has been stolen from us, Lord God, through evil spirits and also through people. However, the enemy has been used to cause us to walk in poverty. We take authority over it on today. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, come on. I need you to pray and be in agreement. We pray for your divine favor in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for your grace in our finances and we come against the spirit of poverty and we declare in the powerful name of Jesus, according to Ephesians 1 and 3, we decree in the name of Jesus, come on, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that we are recipients. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus that we are recipients of your abundant blessings. Hallelujah, come on. I want you to walk in expectations, in expectations for the abundant. Hallelujah. Because how can you pray for something and not expect it to come into fruition? We are praying because we believe, hallelujah, that God is a good, good father. In the name of Jesus, glory to your name, Father. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that we are the recipients of your abundant blessings hallelujah you see the bible says that the lord jesus reigns on the just and the unjust but we god in the name of jesus we are the recipients 
of abundant blessings. See, that makes us different because we are not um, just going to receive the, the uh, blessings that everybody else is receiving, the just and the unjust. No, we want to receive abundant blessings because we are God's anointed, because we are God's children, because we walk in obedience and because of obedience, God say he rewards those. He said, if you choose to do this, you will receive a curse. If you choose to do this, then you will receive a blessing. And so we thank you, Lord God, that we can receive abundance. Hallelujah, God. You said that you would not withhold any good thing from us that walks upright. And so we thank you, God, that anything that is withholding is being withheld from us is illegal. And we take authority over anything that is holding back the abundance because you said if we walk upright you said if we walk upright there will be nothing that will be withheld from us that walks upright in the name of jesus god we thank you in the name of jesus lord we thank you hallelujah lord we also pray and ask you for mercy we ask you to forgive us for any and all come on let's say this and be honest we ask you to forgive us and we repent we repent and ask you for mercy for god for doing anything financially that was an error anything that we have done if we've gone ahead of you and we did something stepped out and did something that wasn't your will it wasn't wise for us to do that and we we said it was a blessing but it turned out to be a curse god we take authority we ask you to forgive us we come out of agreement with this thing if it can be rectified give us grace to be able to rectify it lord jesus we ask you for mercy and we ask you for forgiveness for any financial mistakes or areas errors that we have made any wrong decisions in any area of our lives lord we plead the blood we plead the blood we come to you and ask you position uh, petitioning you for mercy in the name of jesus have mercy oh god anything that we have given the enemy legal access to us because whether it's not paying our tithes or offering you say would a man rob the almighty God. And you say, how so have we robbed you? But we have robbed you according to your word in tithe and offering. If there is anyone that is here, God, that have done that, oh God, we ask you to forgive them today. If you have done that, take the responsibility. The, uh, the word of the Lord said that you cannot be forgiven for something if you keep it covered. So in the name of Jesus, you have made, may have made a financial decision that was to bite off more than you can chew and it was not god leading you to do that and and if you've done that we ask that you would turn we ask that you would turn and repent to today and ask for mercy and we set ourselves in agreement with you on today lord we pray for mercy come on lord we receive your mercy we pray and we believe we pray and believe for mercy and we receive your mercy we receive your forgiveness no more guilt oh god if there is any way we could get out of the financial uh era we come and ask that you would give us grace to get out of it to rectify it oh god to learn from it in the name of jesus and we decree and declare in the name of jesus because of faith and because of who you are you are forgiving god we decree that we are cleansed from that era and every decision that we have made that is the wrong decision we thank you god that in the name of jesus that we are made whole and we say this according to your word john 1 first john 1 and 9 this is the word that we are standing on and we know that your angels hearken to your word we know that we have to stand on your word for you said for it is written in the name of jesus we thank you god for that word 
that shall not return void. And so we are cleansed and made whole from the wrong decisions that we have made in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we pray for your guidance and we ask you to give us wisdom and teach us how to live within our means. Give us the ideas of creating a, a particular budget. If we, if you want us to do a budget, if you want us to plan financially, Lord God, whatever you would have us to do, but we ask you, God, for the ability to walk in discipline, make us disciplined, make us responsible stewards of our resources based on Proverbs chapter 22, verse number seven. Oh God, we thank you, God, that it is written. Proverbs chapter 22, verse number seven. Help us to be disciplined. Help us, dear God, in the mighty name of Jesus, to be responsible stewards stewards of our resources that you have given to us. And we ask this God in the powerful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you right now. Father, we decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. We lift you up, Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. I need you to believe this by faith. The only thing works is faith. We decree and declare that our finances are in alignment with God's will. Hallelujah. Finances, we decree that you are in alignment with God's will and the purposes of God. And we reject the spirit of greed. We, we, we come against the spirit of mammon. We come against the spirit and reject the spirit of materialism. We come against the spirit of covetousness that is running rapid in the earth right now. Lord, we won't keep up with the Joneses. We stand on Matthew's chapter number six, verse number 24. Lord, you said that we can't serve two masters. Lord, we know that the love of money is the root of all evil. So God, we come out of agreement with being money hungry. We come out of agreement with the God of mammon. We know that money is just a tool. We know that we can have money, but money cannot have us. Oh God, we submit to one one God, and that is the Lord. Jesus is Lord in our heart. Father, forgive us for any and everything that causes us, God, to make wrong decisions, causes us to lay down our values, or causes us to do things that is not the will of God because of the spirit of mammon. Lord, we ask that you will purge us from this. If there is a spirit of mammon that is in operation in our bloodline, if there is something Thing, Lord God, that is 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 connected to us on the on the depth of our heart, that is rooted down on the inside of us. Oh God, forgive us, God. Lord God, set us free today. Set us free from the spirit of materialism. Set us free from the spirit of greed and covetousness. Oh God, forgive us, God, for being greedy. Forgive us, Father God, for not being grateful for what you have given to us. Forgive us, Lord God, for uh, trying to keep up with the Jones and being covetous of others and what they have and what they drive. Oh God, forgive us for being covetous of what they wear and how they're portraying their lives. Oh God, we decree that we will not operate in that carnality, but God allow us to operate according to your word. And we stand on your word through Matthew's Lord God 6 and 24. We touch and agree as believers that are touching and and agree, Lord God, that you are in the midst and that you are, uh, are hearing the prayers of us, your people. We touch and agree and stand with you on your word. We thank you for your word, oh God. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus for your divine protection and deliverance from financial frauds, from financial scams, and all schemes that are going on in this hour. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you heard, you knew, and you understand 
understand what they are doing as far as the scams and all of the things that they're saying about our information and being sold on the web. Oh God, you know, you see, you understand the blood of Jesus against these things. So we place the blood, plead the blood, loose the blood of Jesus against those scams. We loose the blood of Jesus against those that are trying to hack into our identity. We loose the blood of Jesus. You said in your word, oh God, that you will re- you will re- Rebuke the devourer of God. And Lord, we know that what we won't give to you, the devil will take it in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will remember our giving. I pray that you will remember our arms and our giving, oh God. Lord, I pray that you will protect us. I pray that you will vindicate us, oh God. I pray that you will do what your word says you're doing and de- rebuke the devourer from schemes, oh God, from scams, Lord Jesus. And we decree that we are safe and secure because of the name of Jesus. And we stand, hallelujah, on Psalms 91 and 4. God, we stand on your word that we are safe and secure in your name. We are hidden and we dwell in the secret place. Father, we are pre-praying against the adversary. We are like Elijah. We are hearing the plans of the enemy that is coming in the earth. And God, we are thanking you that you are rerouting us around the enemy's camp, oh God. We thank you, God, that you are taking the stinger out of the time bomb. It ain't going to blow up. Up, oh God. And Lord, we ask that you will return all of the plots of the enemy back to the sender, that it won't blow up in our face, oh God, that we won't lose anybody on our watch, oh God, that everybody that you have given to us, oh God, on our watch, oh God, that we are covering them, that the prayers are covering them, that the prayers of faith is raising them up, that the prayers of faith is keeping us in the day against the day of, of adversity. Oh, Oh, Lord Jesus, keep us, oh God. Oh, Lord, bless the works of our hands. Oh, Lord, prosper us in, even in the midst of a famine, oh God. And I ask you to do it, Lord Jesus. Abundant blessings come forth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We rebuke and re- and denounce and, and bind and cast off all of the spirits of uh, uh, of any alliance, oh God, we reject and we denounce, oh God, and we renounce the spirit of any alliances with financial bondage. If there is any debt and financial bondage, we renounce it on today. And we declare that we have alliance with the Lord and his kingdom, the kingdom that is coming, the will that is being done, our inheritance, our provision, our survival and thriving comes from you, Father God. You own the cattle on a thousand hills. And you said to us to look to the hills, not to the government, not to our bank account, not to our own ability, God. It is you that have given us the strength. Without you, God, we can't do nothing, oh God. And so we remind you, God, that we are helpless without you. We remind you, God, that our codependency is upon you, oh God. And so we stand on Romans 13 and chapter 8. We are in allegiance with you, Lord God, anything that is contrary to the allegiance of God and your kingdom, we come out of agreement with it right now. (laughs) Hallelujah. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus' name. Break financial bondage. Break right now debt in Jesus' name. Break you spirit of poverty. In Jesus' name, we command you to go. In the name of Jesus, we cast you out. We cast you out. 
We cast you out. We say no to you. We reject you. And we are, we set ourselves in alliance with the will of God for our finances. Lord, we thank you that you are concerned about our fi finances. We thank you, God, that you've made yourself to be Jehovah Jireh. That is who you are, oh God. Yes, Lord, you are our Jehovah. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are the God that provided for thee, oh God. We are are in a dry and in a weary land, but you don't cease to have provision. You have the manna, you have the water, you are making a way out of no way. Is there anything that is too hard for our God? In the name of Jesus, we say no. We say no, and our dependency is on you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you have given us victory over the forces of darkness. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you have given us uh, the all power. You have given us power to tread over the enemy, over all the forces of darkness. You said, and nothing shall by enemies hurt us in Jesus' name. And so we decree and declare right now, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We decree and declare that finances, our finances are protected. Come on. I need you to stand with me. Our, come on, our. See, we got to get out of just being I. Uh, you know, when we start maturing in God, we got to start praying that our Hallelujah, the body of Christ, the people of God, those that is in your circle, our finances are protected. Hallelujah, by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, it's not by your VPN that is on your phone. It's not by your software that you have. God uses those things, but it's protected by the blood. The one that sits high, the one that don't look, he sits high and look low. The one that don't sleep nor slumber. The one that don't think but knows we are protected by the great eternal. I am the self-existent one, that God who is almighty. Lord, we thank you that you are good and God. We thank you, come on, that you are better than good. Hallelujah. And that you are God. Hallelujah, Jesus, all by yourself. Oh God, hallelujah. And so we thank you that our, our finances are protected in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I thank you that your finances are protected. I thank you that my finances are are protected. I, I thank you, God, that their finances are protected. In the name of Jesus, whoever you are, if you have faith, I thank you that your finances are, are protected on today. And it doesn't matter when you hear this, you are protected if you can tap in and believe. We thank you and we bless you. In your name, Lord Jesus, we thank you and we bless you, oh God. I want you to write these scriptures down and I want you to rehearse them in your prayer time. Colossians chapter 2, verse number 15. We decree and stand on this word that our finances and, and we are protected, that we are protected, that we are protected. According to your word, Colossians 2 and 15. And in the name of Jesus, Lord, we close this prayer out and we pray for your divine guidance and your divine direction and your, your, your financial direction concerning our decisions. Lord, we decree that we will make wise decisions. We thank you, God, that we are discerning in our choices and the things that we are to do in this season. We won't make a mistake. We are led by your spirit. You say they that are led by the spirit is the sons of God. James chapter one, verse number five, we stand on God that we have, Lord, the wisdom of God and we walk in discernment. Lord, we just touch, we touch, we touch and we agree that it is so. And we give you praise, glory, and all of the honor in advance. In Jesus' 
mighty and holy name. Praise the Lord. If you prayed this prayer with us, I want to say thank you. Please come back and we're going to continue to pray. Join the channel, uh, APTV, by hitting the join, join button. Pray to the Lord what level he would have you to join in and on. And make sure you thumbs up the video and share this with someone. I'll see you guys in our next broadcast.